Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be describing the differences between CSF fluid and nasal secretions. So whenever a patient comes in ENT OPD with complaint of nasal discharge and uh, there is some doubt that it can be a CSF rhinorrhea or a simple nasal discharge, then there are different clinical, biochemical and even radiological investigations by which we can make out the nature of the fluid. So first we need to take a proper history of the patient. If there is any, any history of surgery, any nasal surgery or any sinus surgery or if there is any history of a trauma, head injury or there is a patient is a case of a, any nasal tumor, then there are chances that uh, there may be CSF leak or CSF rhinorrhea. While if the history is suggestive of uh, uh, these symptoms like sneezing, recurrent bouts of sneezing, paroxysmal sneezing, then itching in the nasal area, itching in the eyes and lacrimation, then all these are suggestive of allergic rhinitis or even vasomotor rhinitis. So by history, we can get an idea regarding the nature of the disease. Then when we need to ask the flow of the nasal discharge. So when the patient says that the nasal discharge is more on bending forwards, then it is suggestive of CSF leak or CSF rhinorrhea and if there is no effect of bending on the nasal discharge that is it is continuous irrespective of the position of the head then it is uh, some nasal pathology like rhinitis. Then effect of sniffing. So whenever the patient is having a CSF leak he will not be able to sniff it back while the nasal discharge of other causes they can be sniffed back. Then the character of the discharge, CSF it is thin, it is watery and it is clear fluid while the nasal secretions they are slimy, sticky and uh, muco mucoid in nature. Then taste, so CSF is sweet in taste because the sugar content in the CSF is more than 30 mg per deciliter and the sugar content of the fluid can be measured, can be known by oxidase peroxidase strip paper while nasal secretions they are salty in taste and they have a low sugar content of less than 10 mg per deciliter. Then beta 2 transferrin. Now it is a very specific biochemical marker for CSF. So it is if it is present then it is strongly suggestive that the fluid is CSF while in nasal secretions the, the beta 2 transferrin will be absent. Then handkerchief test. So whatever fluid the nasal discharge is there it is kept over the hand uh, it is put on the handkerchief and it is let uh, to dry so if there uh, if the fluid was nasal secretions then it will stiffen the uh, handkerchief because it contains slimy mucus fluid so it will stiffen the handkerchief on drying while if the fluid is csf the there will be no effect on the handkerchief so that is called handkerchief test then another clinical test is double ring sign or target sign or also sometimes called hello sign. So uh, it is especially seen if the CSF is traumatic in nature. So if there is history of trauma and there is a nasal uh, discharge then that discharge is put on a filter paper. So if it is CSF mixed with blood then it is arra it arranges like this. So this is a filter paper and the center uh, in the center there is collection of the blood and the CSF forms hello around that blood spot in the periphery. So this is called hello sign or double target sign or ring sign. So this is positive in case of CSF leak but in nasal uh, secretion uh, there is no such sign. Another test is test tube test. So whatever nasal secretions are there they are allowed to stand or uh, they are collected in a test tube and allowed to stand. So irrespective of the time the CSF will remain clear but after some time the in nasal secretions there will be a deposition of the sediment uh, in the test tube after some time. So that can also differentiate uh, CSF from nasal secretions. Now there are specific nowadays radiological investigations which can clearly know the site of the leak in case of CSF fluid like MR cisternography and uh, even uh, CT scan of paranasal sinuses which will clearly differentiate a CSF leak from any other nasal pathology. So these are the differences between the CSF fluid and the nasal secretions. Thank you.